I'll start Petronier's story at the end, which is how I learned it. As she walked us through her gated property into a house with clean furniture, sturdy walls, and modest decorations, I actually thought, she doesn't seem that poor. And truthfully, it's because she wasn't anymore. The Petronier I met was on the other side of her journey, a successful business owner whose children were being educated, a leader in her trust group. She was playful, confident, open. But as we sat in her living room in Rwanda, she told us about another Petronier, the Petronier from 20 years before, a woman with nothing whose husband was dragged right out of her home during the Rwandan Civil War and buried alive. She grew quiet as she told us how she hid with her baby on her back to avoid being murdered as well. Her other children escaped, fleeing nearly 1,000 miles away to the Congo, where she had no idea if they were alive or dead. Her voice cracked and she stopped, taking off her glasses to wipe her eyes. We were too afraid to move or cry or do anything. She was silent, lost in a memory we weren't a part of. She finally went on. She told us when she was able to return home, she had nothing. She told us she was a body walking in the streets, that most people thought she was alive, but inside she was dead. It took Petronier nearly three years to be reunited with her children, all of whom turned out to be safe. It was the motivation she needed to survive. So she joined an Opportunity Trust group and took out her first loan of only $25. She used that $25 to buy a machine and started producing clothing for her neighbors. She slowly built up a customer base, took out another loan, installed water and electricity in her home, bought more machines, took out another loan, hired more tailors, and the rest is history. Petronier's story was unlike anything I'd ever heard. But strangely, it wasn't the horrible beginning or the uplifting ending that stuck with me as much as the middle. It was that moment she decided to keep living and figure out how to provide for her family. It was the same moment that someone at Opportunity gave her the tools to do what she wanted to do, survive. That turning point meant everything for her and for her family. Now she can do anything she wants. She has a busy tailoring shop. She has a fun team. She's proud of raising her children and plans for all of them to get the highest education possible. There's no question that Petronier can make anything possible for her life. And it's all because of that middle part where she took a chance and someone took a chance on her. That's what opportunity is about.